What's up, Fire Family? Happy Tuesday. What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's up with my Fire Fam? Hope you guys are doing great. Sending you guys a lot of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. XOXO. So let's hop into this reading, y'all. And let's see what's going on with you guys, okay? Um, Aquarius and Pisces, y'all have, um, y'all are not forgotten, okay? I will get to y'all, okay? I just have some personals to do. I got a movie day with baby Connor. He wanna go see the new Paw Patrol movie. So I'm gonna go surprise him and take him to the movies today. Um, I had to do some personals. I got rituals to do today. Um, and yeah, as soon as I get all that stuff done, then I'm gonna do Aquarius and Pisces. So if I don't get it done today, y'all, it'll probably be tomorrow, but it will be posted no later than tomorrow. All right, Aquarius and Pisces. All right, so let's see what's going on with you all in this collective. Let's see, spirit, universe, messages for the collective. What's going on with the collective? What's going on with the collective? What is going on with the collective at this time? Let's see. Collective. All right, y'all. Let's see. Universe spirit. The message is for the collective. It's just for the collective. Okay. So we have. Let's see. So somebody is afraid to tell you the truth. So they're afraid to tell you the truth. They've been silent. Okay, but also somebody has been really nice though too. So if your person is being really nice to you lately or they've been like nice and bending over backwards and doing stuff they normally don't do, it's because they have a secret. If they're being extra nice and doing all this stuff because they have some type of secret. Um, they are complimenting you guys a lot. Oh, you're so beautiful. I love you. I miss you. It could be more sex between you guys as well. Okay. But it's because of some type of guilt and feeling bad. It's like they're being silent about something. Yep, they rather keep the peace. They don't want you to know. Yeah, they rather keep the peace. They don't want you to know something. Yep, balance. Harmony. They're trying to keep things, you know... The way they are. Some of you guys just got back on good terms. So they definitely aren't trying to tell you the truth of what's going on. We got healing. Yeah. And some of you guys are trying to heal your relationship at this time. We have depth. All right. So I will say like astrologically, um, October is like going to be really weird. Or it has been really weird for a lot of people when it comes to relationships. That's why you see a lot of breakups like on like Shade Room, Instagram, stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of tests with their like friendships, relationships relationships you have with family members co-workers stuff like that it could even be people that you guys have known for like a long time and y'all are all of a sudden just got into it and you're like why are we into it why are we arguing why are we this and that you and your person could be like having like random arguments or it could be a family member that you love and it's like you might get mad because they might side with somebody or y'all might get into it so october i don't know what it is but that's definitely the energy okay um okay so yeah somebody feels like you guys have already been through too much um and they are just ready to heal this and be at they want to be at peace and stay at peace you know we have conflict and confession so they feel like whatever they are going to confess whatever they are going to tell you is going to lead to some type of conflict and that's what they're trying to avoid all right so let's cut the deck and see they are trying to avoid that okay Let's cut the deck. 
Sorry, y'all. I swear. I don't know. It's like my son, he just always wants to text me like when I'm recording or something. He's telling me about his trombone. I'm just like, I know y'all probably don't care, but I'm just like, and y'all know if it's my son, I'm going to answer. So I'm just like, I'm like, you know, like, okay, let's see. Let's go back to y'all problem and situation. We have hoping. So they're hoping and expecting our, okay, because we have expecting, we have faith and manifesting. So they're hoping that this secret doesn't get out because they are like enjoying the energy that you guys are shifting into. Like I said, they've been very nice. They've been generous. Y'all been laughing, y'all been having good sex, y'all been going out, y'all been doing stuff. But deep down inside, they feel so b bad and blocked emotionally. And then they fear telling you guys, because look, we're releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away, breaking point. They know, like, if they, they already know, if you guys were to find out, it is a wrap, okay? We have missing you with the thinking, nourish, we have curse, running yeah so they just like they're just they rather keep it a secret all right so let's just pull a couple cards or a card and see how you guys feel how does the collective feel currently right now when it comes to their person how does the collective currently feel when it comes to their person how does the collective currently feel when it comes to their person how does the collective currently feel when it comes to their person how does the collective currently feel when it comes to their person how does the collective currently feel when it comes to a person? We got secret admirers. So yeah, so it's like you guys have been like crushing on your person. Y'all have really been feeling them lately. See the divine masculine? you like, yes, come here. Okay, give it to me, daddy. Okay, because somebody has been like really like around, like up under you and everything. So yeah, look, foundation, established family, security. Yeah, and y'all are letting go of the past or whatever happened in the past or something that happened in the past. So that's why that's another reason why they're scared to say something because they know. Yeah, we have abandoned, broken. I feel like these are past feelings and perspectives. So I do feel like in the past you guys felt abandoned, heartbroken. You know, you had to walk away from a situation or walk away from the situation. You had to do something that was best for you. You had to clear your head space. But yes, they, um, yeah. So let's see, y'all. Uh, I'm loving these little Amazon cards. I need to release my deck and stop playing. I've been playing when it comes to a lot of things. Not like really playing, but a lot. Of, I haven't been releasing and doing a lot of things. Well, I have been. Let me not say that. But let's see. Let's pull some cards, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Universe and spirit. Universe, spirit, universe. Universe, spirit. Let's do this for the collective. Universe and spirit. Thank you, let's do this for the collective. See, look, look what came out. We got judgment, we got two of cups in reverse, and we got the sun and the sun in reverse with the justice card here. When I say justice, I meant to say judgment. If I did, I don't know. But see, yeah, you guys can be dealing with a cancer, a Leo, or a Libra, or you guys can be that sign. And look, we got justice here with the Queen of Cups. Somebody really does love you. You know, and they want to be honest with you. They may eventually, they might tell you. But like I said, whatever is going on between you guys, you guys waited so long for this. And with the Ten of Cups, they don't want to ruin this. Somebody's, there, there's an engagement coming in for some of you guys. And it's around that holiday. So it might be like a holiday engagement. Okay. Like, so what's the next holiday? Not Halloween. I mean, do people do that on Halloween? No. I, it's gonna be more like like a Thanksgiving type um, Christmas vibe is what I'm getting. Unless it's like your birthday, unless well it's Libra season now, but yeah. But let's see why judgment's here, because judgment in reverse talks about guilt. So remember I told you with the cards we see, and I was like somebody is feeling really bad. Okay, so there's guilt, and somebody did something that can cause disharmony between you guys. That can create trust issues, separation. 
a breakup. All right, and it will have them like it's already got them sad, but they know that you'll be sad. They know that you will feel like they, you know, fail by you once again, or you just you're not gonna be happy with them. So, yeah, the judgment card in reverse can also be a card of like self hate, like this person, like you know, they hate themselves for what they did to you. You know, um, this can be somebody that is like also feeling down about the situation. So let's see, let's go to judgment. Why is judgment here for the collective? All right, so in reverse. So we got, let's see, the two of cups. See, and the knight of wands. What did I say? Everything is moving forward. Okay, so it's like everything is finally moving forward and they're enjoying the energy that you guys are in, but there's just this guilt. See, the two of cups, like I said, y'all been spending a lot of time together recently. Or right, now you guys are, you know, like just started. You know, y'all are in that lovey-dovey phase. Oh, that's so dope. She got on black nails. So do I, girl. So, yeah, like, you guys are in that lovey-dovey phase. Like, just all into each other and hugging and kissing and spending time together. Some of you guys can be same sex. Okay? But, um, yeah, they're starting to feel really bad, you know? Because they want to stay in this energy with you. So, whatever is going on between you guys now, like, that's the energy they want to stay in with you. But remember, it's a night energy, so um nights do come and go they're in and out you know but i mean let's see why is the night here going to the night of wands why is the night here could be an aries you for the terriers could be a cancer we got a lot of cancer energy here somebody could have a cancer moon we have a temperance in reverse mm, yeah somebody is definitely mad with themselves they're moving forward with you but they're mad with themselves so if your person is like you guys are in a really good mood and then they get kind of like quiet, you know, nonchalant. That's why. Because they're like, they're upset. They're angry with themselves over what they did with this here. With this energy here. But they're enjoying the moment. They're enjoying this new energy that y'all are in. They're enjoying this shift. You know, they're like, yes, like, we're finally at peace. We're getting along. But, yeah, they did something real stupid right before all of this happened so let's see temperance in reverse yep see we got the six of swords in reverse it's not sitting right with them that's not for some of you guys they're crying like when they shower they're crying they're sad or when they're not around you yeah this is also somebody that just kind of feels stuck they don't know how to like it's like they're in their feelings about it they don't know what to do because they know, like, if they tell you the truth, you're going to walk away or get upset or get mad. But then they also feel like if they tell you the truth, you're going to do the same thing. So, yeah. Regardless if they tell you or you find out, they just feel like it's just gonna, like that's going to be your answer. Or that's going to be your reaction. Yeah. And for some of you guys, this person has nowhere to go. Like, nowhere to run. Like... With the Six of Swords universe, you know, because y'all live together. Uh, like you're the person they want to be with, but they're doing dumb stuff. The Six of Swords also talks about a rocky relationship, okay? Somebody could have did something while they were traveling, okay? Because the Six of Swords is in reverse, is returning from travels. So somebody could have did something like while they were on vacation. Or like while you were gone on vacation. Let's see, Six of Swords. Let's see the Emperor reverse, yep. They feel powerless. They're like, why did I do this? Could be an Aries. Could be a Sagittarius. There's just a lot of guilt. They're going to break. They are. They're going to break. They're going to eventually tell you guys, I feel. Let me see something. Because they're going to break. This person just feels so bad about it. See, look, Awakening and Partying came out. So they did something while partying, while under the influence, while fucked up. Yep. But whatever they did, it's like... It's awakening them in a way where, like, they are more open than before. Like, they're opening their heart. This is, like, a spiritual activation card. Like, so somebody may be like, oh, I don't want to drink no more. I don't want to smoke no more. I don't want to, like, sell drugs no more. I don't want to hang around those people no more. I don't want to be in the hood no more. I don't want to do that. Whatever it is that they were doing that was, like, causing this or the people around them or whatever, it's like they don't want to do it no more because they were with people. There's multiple drinks in the background of this picture. 
staying out all night and for a good time wants to play the field so i just feel like whoever they were with or the people that they're around they still want to like cheat lie do what they do you know what i'm saying have hoes or have guys or whatever you know and somebody just like was partying and did something dumb and stupid for some of y'all and they feel like it's gonna cost them this relationship have illusion can't see clearly living on your dreams believe in lies so they don't want you to be living on dreams and like believe in their lies but they also kind of feel like what you don't know won't bother you but or what you don't know you know like you know that people about oh they don't know what they won't bother them whatever but it's bothering them they're trying to avoid telling you they're loving the chemistry between you guys and the temptation so, with this card, like, some of you guys have been coming on to them, wearing lingerie, like, you know, y'all been getting it in, getting freaky, like, sex has been better, all type of stuff. We have waiting, hoping they would change, spending time apart, putting things on pause. So, you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for them to change and be like this. And then now, they're like this now, but it's after some fuck up. After them doing something. And for some of you that are in the same sex relationship, <clears throat> two males or two uh, females, it doesn't matter. Somebody slept with a guy. So, if you're in the same sex relationship with a female and you're a female, they like both. Okay? They like the ding ding and the vijayjay. And if you guys are two males, then they just cheated on you with another male. But there's definitely a male involved in this. As far as, like, if it's same sex. Not for all of you guys. Okay, the twin flame card came out of me first. So, you know, I take reversals. So, some of you guys, um, let me just clarify this. Some of you guys, it's not a twin flame connection because the twin flame card came out of me first. Or for some of you, if this is a twin flame connection, it's like you guys are coming out of a karmic cycle. Okay. But some type of soul contract has ended, or some type of something that's changing within the soul contract. Let me see something really quick. Why is the twin flame card in reverse? Why is the twin flame card in reverse? Yeah. I don't know. For some of you guys. You are really trying to work things out with somebody that you thought you were in a twin flame connection with. We have the Ten of Swords here, too. Hmm. I wonder why that randomly came out. And the Emperor is in reverse, and I was clarifying the Emperor. So that just confirms that for some of you guys, this person isn't a twin flame connection. But there is a connection between you guys. And some of y'all have been dealing with a lot of stuff because y'all think this is your twin, your twizzy, your twin flame. The king of pentacles is in reverse towards Virgo Capricorn. Now, the king of pentacles in reverse is you see somebody that's unstable. They're not a good father. They don't pay their bills on time. They're not a good provider. They're very materialistic. They will spend their money on Jordans and material things, iPhones and stuff before they take care of responsibility or something like that or this is somebody that will you know go above their means like take you out do this and that knowing that they, that's the last 200 in their pocket but let's go into this king of pentacles in reverse somebody is working on themselves though with the eight of pentacles is what it's trying to tell me but let me see will of fortune so you guys are coming out of some type of cycle with this person you've reached a turning point but And maybe this is how this person used to be. Because the Ten of Swords is here. 
And the Wheel of Fortune is a good card and upright with the King of Pentacles. So that's a turning point. That means their finances are about to change. That means this person is about to be more responsible, more reliable, dependable. That means this person is going to start helping paying bills and rent and doing stuff hard. This person got a job or they, you know, they, you know, got in, got themselves in something that is going to be um, good for them financially. Something is changing for them. Wow, look, the Empress. I mean, most of it is because of you. It's like your partner looks up to you guys. But we have the star in reverse. So you guys can be a Libra, a Taurus, an Aquarius, Sagittarius. So you guys have pretty much told this person to stop focusing on the negative in their life and focus on the positive. And you are someone that's positive in their life. And you guys have helped this person change. Or this person is changing because of you. But... It's after they did something too, though. Because look, they're coming up as a king of cups or anywhere. Somebody that is untrustworthy. Five of swords. They're going to be in so much conflict, like inner conflict. Like this person is going to be like tossing and turning in their sleep, fighting with their self. They feel defeated. They don't know what to do. Seven of Wands. It's going to come out in an argument. And no, I'm not saying go start an argument on purpose to get the truth to come out. But it's going to come out in an, argu in an argument. It is. Because they're going to just, it's just going to slip out. Like, they just, this person cares about you so much. But I feel like when they were partying and getting drunk and high, whatever they were doing, they just weren't thinking at the time. But now it's like, it's eating them alive. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's killing them. Like, it's, it's, it's eating them away. Like, they just, like, they feel like shit, as they should. Look. Wow. I'm going to take these because they flipped out. So, the King of Pentacles in the universe is planning for the future. All right? Making plans together. Envisioning your future. Taking steps towards goals. All right? Getting back together. But look, haunted by memories. And then we have happiness, fit well together, lasting commitment, deep connection. So I remember I told you I saw an engagement coming in, remember? So y'all see that, right? So this King of Pentacles in reverse is going to get their shit together, y'all. But just, I wonder what they did that was so bad. I want to be nosy, but I'm like, why is the sun in reverse? Going to the sun in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse? Why is this sun in reverse? The nine of cups. They see how happy you are. They don't want to ruin that for you. See ace of cups, ace of wands. See page of cups. So this, for some of you guys, this person was not good with expressing themselves and with the ace of cups they have. They are, you know. So this can be somebody that is like just... And it's like also the page of cups ring verse is also a card of like bad news. And they feel like y'all are, like I said, such in a good mood. And they see how happy you are with them. And they don't want to like ruin it. They don't want to tell you something and ruin it. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. They're standing there watching like seeing how happy you are. They feel like very abundant with you. But like I said, look, every other card, this whatever this is, this secret is tearing them apart. Page of pentacles. Let me see. The four. Hmm, who is this? Why is this high priestess here? But it's awesome. somebody is telling him not to tell you. But then it's like this person feels like they need a man up or woman up. Like be honest. You know, be brave. Have courage, confidence. You know, whatever the outcome may be. Like... You know, like, you can get through this. Be honest. Say something. That's how this person um, is feeling, your person. But somebody is telling them not to tell. Mm -hmm. Somebody is telling them to keep it to themselves. Not to tell. Very, very interesting. All right, let's see. What are they so scared to tell you why is this person so scared to tell y'all why is this person so scared to tell the collective 
What is this person so scared to tell the collective? Cause it's like, it's like this person is like so scared. It's like, you know what I'm saying? They like shit they pants, piss they so it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like, I just see this person as like scared straight or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like it's like this person is like, they feel, they're, they're in fear. Like they, they're scared. They might be scared of y'all low key. Shit. Maybe they did something in the past and y'all fought they ass or something. I don't know. So they messed with the rebound. That's what this is about. They cheated. They got the rebound card. That's what they're so scared to tell you about. Secret getaway. Yeah. So this was like planned. Um, well, over here it doesn't seem planned, but you know. Well, what I'm seeing is, is this, so it's somebody that they know. It's somebody that y'all, that you know of too, or heard of or something like that because we have Secret Getaway Shady. They, it seems like it's planned out. It seems like somebody planned this out. And we got I Apologize at the bottom. Yep, see, I Apologize sneaking out. And it's somebody that they claim that they have lost interest in that is obsessed with them. Unexpected visitors. See, that's what I'm saying. They weren't expecting to see this person. They weren't expecting to see this person. Some of you guys, your person went to some type of event. And somebody is very manipulative. They wanted sex. And they want to reconcile with this person. They know that they're in a relationship with y'all. See, look. In a relationship, reconcile just the opposite of the cards. We have, they're still lusting over your person. They begged your person. They begged your person. They begged your person to fuck them. And they stupid ass is still for it. Okay. Because, like, when all the cards that I'm getting, like, it's like, they beg them. Like, sex is here, all that. Like, they beg them. They know about your relationship. They don't care. They get two fucks about your relationship. Mm-hmm. Let's see. After begging, we got hotel. So, for some of you guys, it was at a hotel. They already, we have trust issues, so it's like your person is like, well, you're like, you, it ain't like you ain't cheated before or you ain't did this before, so whatever, whoever this is, it's like they kind of know something that happened between you guys or something like that. They, they're still in love with this person and they know this person wants to marry you. Yeah. We don't go into that. Your person used to be a hoe back in the day or used to hoe around and they're dealing with somebody that, that is, that has bad energy, but feels like they are a true love to them. Like, they feel like that's your person is their true love. Or, like, somebody, like, it's their, the first person they ever, like, really cared for and stuff like that. Only thing, let me see. Oh, wrong bit. Let's go on to this begging. We don't need all these. Let's go on to this begging card. They knew what they were doing, Knight of Swords. Oh, wow, the hey, man. So, I wonder if they drugged them or got them drunk. They put them in a position to where they were kind of like, where they couldn't really do much. Mm -hmm. And then the other person woke up or like was like, what? So, let's see. they drug this person oh wow mm. for some of you guys it's a yes did they get or did they get this person drunk or did they get your person drunk for some of you guys for most of you guys your person was already like hanging out with people getting a little tipsy having a good time vibing they were with friends. They were at some type of social event or something like that. Or at a party or something with friends. And then the moon. So they did something. So they knew they were drunk. They knew this person had reached their limits. And they took advantage of this person. And then for some of you guys, they drove them. Like they just slipped something in their drink. Or something like that. 
or gave them something that they knew was gonna like, you know, get them to give in or like be tipsy or whatever, you know. I don't know, I have not ever experienced that, so I don't know how that feels, but it's like somebody like or they gave them like a pill or they did something. They did something to make them like kind of like, you know, like knock themselves or whatever. Sorry y'all, I know y'all get along. I was about to get up, but I'm about to be done with the reading soon. So let's go on to the getting married part. Let's see. Let's see why is the getting married part here? Yeah, this person told told them that they want to marry you. Yeah, that they're in love with you. They see you as their future wife. That person didn't like that. Because whoever this is, this is somebody that shared a past with them. And they feel like, no, we were supposed to be the ones getting married. Yeah, you were supposed to be my husband. You're supposed to be my wife. Yeah, you need to return to me. Like, I'm yours. Not her. Not him. Something like that. So, for some of you guys who didn't know, there is an engagement coming in from your person. And I'm telling you guys, it's going to be during the holidays. Um, for some of you guys, for a lot of you guys, this is before the year ends. For others of you, it's going to be around the holidays. It's going to be around people, a special occasion, something that's a special day or like a big deal for you. Okay? Unless your birthday is coming up, unless you're a Libra, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius. Yeah, they're being very slick. They're planning it now. Yep, they're planning it with a female so there's a female that you're close to or it's like they have a female sit like they have a, a sister or somebody that they're close to that is helping them plan this out mm -hmm. they've been thinking about this for a long time they've been or they've been planning this out for a long time i'm sorry yeah sometimes when they tell you they're going somewhere they're meeting up with this person but it's nothing bad though i'm gonna tell you guys that so if you have a best friend and your best friend is cool with your person it's nothing like that they don't want each other there's no sexual activity there's nothing there this person is just trying to figure out what like they know what you want like whoever this best friend is or the female or they have like a female friend that's really close to them or like i said a female or somebody around them that's very close to them and it's it yeah see i told you it's gonna be around a lot of people mm -hmm. for some of you guys you live somewhere where it's like oh uh, mm-hmm King of Pentacles. Only thing is, is that there's a karmic in this situation somewhere because when we had that emperor and all that energy there, maybe it's the ex. But we're not about to get into that though. But um, what I'm about to say is, um, yeah, they're gonna get their shit together. King of Pentacles. Um, they're taking some money that they're getting from some somewhere, from some type of loan, some type of business loan, something like that. Or they're just saving their money up for something, and they're not gonna need as much money as they saved up for something like that. But for some of you guys, you live somewhere where it's like, like when it's cold season, it's still warm. You know, like, so how we're in Texas, it's October and it's still like, I think today it's going to be like 85. It's like cloudy, but it's still like warm, you know? So if not, the way I see it outside, maybe like the sky is going to be clear or it's like, it's going to be a really nice day, a beautiful day, even if it's cold. But it's going to be around a lot of people. It's going to be in front of like a building or in front of somewhere. So. Yeah. Some of you guys have a grand opening. Or you guys are about to get a storefront. Or something like that. Um, somebody has an inheritance coming in. I like some money coming in. Your person does. They're going to be super generous. A part of them is doing it, you know, due to guilt. But. Of the part, another part of them is really doing it because they know that you'll be successful at this business and they want to like see you thrive. Like they, they want you to have it. But if not, it's like you guys have like some type of grand opening or something coming up, um, or like you're graduating. You're doing something that's gonna have a lot of people around you. I told you they're doing this out of guilt, out of hurt, but also because you deserve it. You know they feel like they haven't been the best boyfriend or the best partner, and they want to make it up to you. Yeah, and for some of you guys, they feel like it's been a long, like it's been long enough. Like they should have been asked you, okay? Because you're the only one that seemed to put up what they asked. Not to say it like that, but it's like you've been there through thick and thin. Like you've been there for them a lot, and all the other people that they brought into their life or did something on you with or like play around, like it just caused more problems. Let me see.
Yeah. They see that now. That those people, these other situations brought them down. And that's what they're moving away from. Now, if they didn't hear it from this person, somebody's like family member like fucks with you guys. They like you a lot. And this person is around, like this person comes around maybe because the child is involved. And they told him like, oh, like, you know, they're about to get married. They, he said he's about to pop the question. You know, she's going to do this or that. And there is some, there's some, um, there's some, yeah, somebody is throwing some little energy around. Somebody's been doing some black magic, hexing, doing stuff like that. Um, but it's only going to like. It's just either going to cause arguments between you guys and then y'all going to be back together. It's not going to do nothing. It's just going to make you feel some type of way. But at the end of the day, that's still your relationship, you know. And some of you guys are very intuitive and you can feel the energy coming. And when you can feel the energy coming, just really protect yourself at that time. And protect your person in your, in your relationship, you know. Because only, like, don't allow it to bring you down or affect you. Some of you guys are very strong and powerful and it takes a lot for it to even affect you. And it's, it's this person has done it several times and for some of you guys, it's just finally hitting you. But yeah, and at the time that this is happening, don't be so mean or so hateful towards your person. Not saying you guys do, but don't feed into the energy if you guys get what I mean. You know, just surround you and your person in the connection with love and protection. That was the emperor and the lovers that popped out. So yes, y'all. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm out. The long words getting on my nerves, and I gotta finish these rituals and personals. All right. So this is the daily reading. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys love to book, you already know. Fire on Twitch.com. Bye, fire fam.